hello there and welcome back for another video today we're doing your person's energy romantically towards you how are they feeling what's up with your person I've already uploaded all of water and I've did uh, Aries now I'm about to do Sagittarius this person's romantic energy towards you Sagittarius I uh, remember these are general readings they're not gonna resonate with everyone just take what fits and just slide on to the side what does not fit um, Thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you for your positive energy and your feedback. Keep on keeping on, okay? Because Scorpio really does appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. So Sagittarius, your person is coming up. And the number seven energy, move. Your person wants to take action towards their heart's desire. The number seven card, move. Or they're needing to be more initiative and take more action. Because I feel like at the bottom of the deck, it says to rest and reconsider. So what I feel like your person is, is very indecisive. I feel like one moment they want to move towards you and one moment they want to step back and reconsider and take a break. Uh, but they're very indecisive, but they're needing to take action if they really want to uh, manifest their heart's desire. And this is from your... Um, this is from the heart oracle deck. Now coming up from your love oracle deck, because I'm pulling one from the heart and two from the love oracle deck, you have the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. I think this has a lot to do with your person being indecisive. Uh, if they make the, the necessary changes and move and take action, uh, this relationship can indeed uh, evolve. But I feel like your person, your next card is the grim reaper. The, the relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life. So once again, I feel like your person is indecisive. One moment they want to take action and move towards you. And another, they want to take a break and reconsider and uh, just be alone because they have this indecisive. They're having a mental conflict concerning this union here. Because at the bottom of the deck, we have passion. Insane chemistry. Like each other equally. Have fun. So they're wanting to... They're really wanting to have um, they really want to have a very strong emotional relationship with you, but I feel like they're and they have a lot of passion for you, but because of their mental conflict is keeping them back because they keep on being indecisive. They don't know whether to make a move or to step back, but that's all in their head. So let's clarify your person's energy romantically towards you real quick, Sagittarius. Clarify move for Sagittarius person romantically, please. We have the Six of Swords. So your person wants to move towards calmer water, but I feel like your person mentally wants to move towards calmer waters because they're indecisive here. So can we get another card for move for Sagittarius as persons romantically, please? And we have the High Priestess. So it's like your person may not be telling you that they're indecisive, indecisive energy and that they want to move towards you they're not telling you anything so you guys could not could be uh taking a break you may not be together because this person's not talking about their emotions they're not telling you that because they're not taking the action that they need to take towards you so i feel like their their intuition is telling them to move but they're not saying anything and they're not moving because they're still in this indecisive energy so the butterfly clarify the butterfly for sagittarius this person romantically please butterfly We have the Eight of Pentacles. So your person really wants to put in the work. Your per, uh, your person wants to work on this relationship or your person wants to work on themselves. Uh, can we get another card for the butterfly for Sagittarius? This person romantically, please. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this person is stepping back and they're waiting. They're wait See, like I said, they're indecisive. They're always stepping back. Every time they make one move forward, they take about four or five steps back. Now they're waiting. They're waiting to they're waiting for what? They're waiting for their I guess they're waiting for the positive side to kick in again. Because they want this relationship to evolve. They want it to grow, but they're gonna have to heal their inner childhood wounds here. So the Grim Reaper here. Clarify the Grim Reaper for Sagittarius this person romantically. And we have the hermit. See, they're introspecting. They're in See, that's why they have this rest and reconsider because they're constantly stepping back and thinking. But their thinking is, is not making them move. But hopefully this hermit card will help them. Can we get another card for the Grim Reaper for Sagittarius this person romantically, please?
And we have the seven of is that what four five six seven of wands. So your person is standing their ground here. They're standing their ground in their uh, in their mental anguish. Anguish, I feel like, um, but it's not consistent because one minute they want to be with you and they want to move forward, and the next minute they want to dead the situation. So I feel like they're standing their ground in they're standing their ground in their position in back and forth. Because they can't decide. They can't decide what to do. But it's all in their head. So clarify the six of swords for Sagittarius' this person. Clarify the six of swords, please. We have the queen of cups. So they want to move towards you. They want to move towards something more emotionally fulfilling here. You are their karma place, Sagittarius. Uh, the high priestess. Clarify the high priestess. For Sagittarius, this person, clarify the high priestess, please. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like they're not telling you, but they want to have a brand new beginning with you. They want to they want to bring stability within this relationship if they can just get out of their head. So the Eight of Pentacles, because you got Pentacles all through here, they want stability with you. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, please, for Sagittarius, this person, romantically. Eight of Pentacles. We have the star. You are their wish fulfilled. They're needing healing. Uh, it's a spiritualness. It, it, everything they're going through is spiritual because in the in their mind, they're needing to heal themselves. So they want to put in the work because you are their wish fulfilled. So clarify the seven of pentacles for Sagittarius' person in romance, please. And we have the three of wands. They're waiting. See, you got two waiting cards. The seven of pentacles clarify the three of wands. So they're waiting. They're waiting for something to change in their mind, I feel like. They're waiting for, I think, their mind to change. So the hermit, clarify the hermit for Sagittarius' person. Romantically, please, the hermit. You got the five of swords. They're waiting and they're doing introspection about how to get out of this negative toxic energy within their thoughts. Because it is, it is keeping them back. It is holding them back because they can't make a firm decision. So the Seven of Wands, clarify the Seven of Wands for Sagittarius' person in romance, please. And you have the Queen of Wands. So they're standing their ground against... Uh, of taking action. That's what it is. They're, they're, they're standing their ground against taking the necessary actions that they need in order to have this more emotional, fulfilling relationship with you, Sagittarius, because they're all in their head at this time. So, Sagittarius, this has been your reading for your person romantically. If this video resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.